everyone. We just uh, split up from our group ride and we uh, had about 18, 18 to 20 bikes I think on this ride. And it, went, it went pretty well. It, uh, it, was, it was really laid back and uh, there was really no issues with anybody. It was, uh, it was a good time. On the ride, we uh, left Idaho Falls and uh, went up to Mesa Falls, which uh, you've seen on one of my other videos, and then continued up through Island Park into West Yellowstone. There's a beautiful river. And uh, continued on around Hebgen Lake and over to uh, Henry's Lake and then connected back to the same road through Island Park again. It was a good time. We left at 10 o'clock right now. I'm heading back through Island Park. It is 4.52. It's showing. It'll take me a little over an hour to get home from here, so I'll be home right around 6 or so. was about 265 70 miles total and with all the stops we had and an hour and a half for lunch pretty much it, uh, it ate up most of the day it was a gorgeous ride in around Hebgen Lake I haven't been around there in quite a few years and uh, it's uh, it's really really pretty this time of year still really green Things are starting to dry out a little bit and turn brown, but right now it's gorgeous. I didn't want to video anybody during the ride, especially since it was my first one. I didn't want to come off that way, so I decided I wouldn't put the camera on until we split back up to go home. All in all, it was a really mellow ride. There uh, wasn't any real attitudes or anything. There, wasn't anybody crowding anybody else. Everybody gave everybody plenty of space. If you wanted more space, you just took it. No one would run up on you or tell you to do anything different. So it was uh, it was really nice, really laid back. One thing that I will say about riding in a group, it's definitely not as relaxing as riding by yourself, for sure. You know, you have to really pay attention to the other riders and, and try to see what's up the road up in front of them too. So you're really you're really kind of on high alert when you're riding in a group like that. At least I was, you know, being the first time I definitely probably was hyper aware of certain things. But uh, like I said before, it wasn't uh, it wasn't real nerve-wracking or anything like that. It was just, like I said, not quite as relaxing as riding by yourself. This road here does get pretty busy. There's a lot of people that come up here to go fly fishing on the Henry's Fork. It's also the main road that goes from Idaho Falls up into Yellowstone. So it definitely can have a lot of traffic at times. But it's never super bad there's you know there's always enough room to get around people when there's when you need to if you have real slow traffic or anything there's passing lanes here and there so it's still not not real bad there definitely can be a lot of wildlife on this road at night though it's uh pretty bad at times there's a lot of deer a lot of elk up in this area so definitely got to watch it around twilight or early in the morning this road up through uh, Island Park there's a lot of places where you have to slow down to 45 come into these little sections of the town uh, they're just basically little lodges and a gas station or something they're about every couple of miles up through here and you just slow down to 45 cruise through them speed back up on the other side that's okay kind of gives you a second to look around and 
check everything out though. out there in the river fishing this is the famous ranch section of the Henry's Fork up through here this uh, place is like world-renowned every fly fisher in the world knows about this place see all the boats here in the parking lot where they take their clients out to go fishing and that over there is uh, Harriman State Park it was donated to uh, the Idaho State Parks Department by uh, the Harriman family which was one of the families that uh, were involved in the railroad back in the late 1800s early 1900s they own this and worked it as a cattle ranch back in the day. We'll probably uh, make a trip up here sometime and show you some of the old buildings. It's a pretty neat area. Here's another look at that valley out there. Quite a big spread. Right up here is the turn off to Mesa Falls, which uh, like I said is uh, on an earlier video. Here's our turn off to the Mesa Falls Scenic Byway. About five, six miles down this road is where Mesa Falls is. And like I said, it's never, never a, a bad day when you're up here riding in this kind of stuff. So, since you guys have seen most of this road already, if you watched my other video, I'll be signing off here in just a minute. And I'd like to thank you for uh, coming along today. Like I say it wasn't uh, any video of the group ride. I just figured I would get the thoughts that I had about the group ride down on video before I forgot them. It was uh, it was fun and it was good hanging out with the people. Uh, more than the ride part of it myself, but uh, the ride was cool too. Like I said, it just isn't quite as relaxing as a ride by yourself, but it was still good. So I wouldn't uh, make every weekend ride a group ride myself, but that's just me, you know. A lot of people might enjoy that a lot more than, than others, so... Again, thanks for uh, coming along on the ride today. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you did, uh, give it a thumbs up if, if you would. And uh, if you'd like to see more videos like this, uh, please subscribe to the channel and hit the bell notification button. So, uh, ride safe and take care. Thanks.